In this tutorial, we'll show you how to import data from Excel into the ArcGIS software. So first, we will uh, look at our data from Excel. Data from Excel, as we've seen, is uh, specified. This is the city, several cities in Washington, and then I give a latitude and longitude. Now, in this latitude, I give a north thing, um, followed by the degrees and minutes, and then here's the east-west for longitude and the degrees and minutes and second respectively. Now in order to convert this, uh, in order to import it into ArcGIS, we need to convert it into decimal degrees and so that's what this next tab is here for. So for Aberdeen we converted uh, the, <coughs> the data from the last tab and basically this we, I created an if statement. This if statement went in and specified what, if it was north or south. The north uh, representation here is positive and south would be negative the same way that for west is negative and then east would be positive. And so the rest of the calculation, you can see that it creates a decimal here. That decimal, in this case, you would take 46, that's the degrees, plus you're going to take uh, the fraction of the minutes, uh, and 60 minutes does include a full degree. So in this case, it would be 46 plus 59 divided by 60 minutes. That will give you your decimal degrees. So you can see here we are 46 degrees. Um, above for Aberdeen, that's above the equator, and then negative 123.8 degrees, and that's west of the prime meridian. So respective to the equator and then prime meridian, positive or negative, those are our values. So now in order to import those, we're going to go ahead and add data, and mine is under CE303, I've got this city's data here. I'm going to pull out the decimal degrees. We don't want that first one. I'll we'll make, make sure that we're within decimal degrees. These are showing the different tabs that are in that Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to add that one in. And this will show you if I right click and hit open, we will get uh, the data that's come in there. So it will show you that the city has been located and that's under the Washington tab and then latitude and longitude are recorded. Now you can see right off, this just imports a table right here. In order to get that onto the map, what we have to do is right click and insert this uh, data with a uh, displaying the XY data. So here, this is going to be the X field and the, the Y field. Make sure that those are correct, the longitude and latitude. And our co coordinate system is specified, and that's accurate with the one that we have um, currently in there for the layer. And we'll hit OK. And this is just letting you know that the current uh, uh, file that we created is not editable at this point, so you'll need to export that in order to make it editable, and we'll show you how to do that. So there we have our first set of data. <coughs> this here is for all the cities that I have recorded in Washington. Now, as I said before, in order to edit this data, we need to go in and be able to uh, export this as a, as a shape file. So I'm going to click on here, you're going to come down to data and we're going to export the data. Now we're going to um, export this and we're going to look at exporting all the features and for the data frame we want to make sure and export this as a shapefile. You'll need to look through here and make sure that this is uh, set to shapefile and so you can label this as you would like it. So this one I'll put Washington cities save and hit OK. It'll ask you whether or not you want to add this as a layer to the map and we'll just do that so you can see that the layer is there. So and sure enough indeed we've created this Washington Cities data. This is now a, uh, a shapefile created uh, which has more features than the, the current one in here. So uh, again if I right click and open attribute table you can see the that we have point files now. This is the new part that comes up showing that it is a point file with our cities and the latitude and longitude. So that's the basic part of how to import into a uh, import into ArcGIS.